Mr. Crowder, uh, you have had a number of, um, shall, I, shall I call them, inflammatory videos uh, titled, There's No Such Thing as Moderate Islam. How can you make such a definitive claim when the version of Islam that I practice, that my peers practice on a daily basis, is um, very moderate and differs from your perspective on sure. the religion of Islam? Thank you very much. I, I, think that's a, I think that's a fair question, and I think it's one that deserves answering. Um, People here talk about how racist, homophobic we are, how we mistreat women. Can you point me to any Islamic country that would meet the standards that they've set for people like us tonight? Any Islamic country that women are treated equal? No, we're not confusing politics. We're talking about anywhere where Islam congregates to achieve political power on planet Earth. Is there any bastion of freedom and equal rights in the Islamic world? The only place that people point to are places like UAE, Indonesia, um, uh, uh, where people are violently mistreated if they convert to Christianity, where women are mistreated. Listen, I think that there are a lot of great Muslims here in the United States who think as you do, but the fact is that has never actually been rooted in a place of power in the moderate Islamic world. And when I talk about these videos, yeah, well, it's, uh, unfortunately, Islam, unlike Christianity or Buddhism, is an actual political system. It is a pr prescribed system of law. It is not merely religious ideology. It is a prescription on a legal system of government. And that's why you see remarkably anti-freedom, anti-free speech, anti-woman, anti-gay legislation in every Islamic country on the world. I don't care what you have to say about it. I'm looking to their laws. It's Stop also speaking fascist, fascist. You're a great public spokeswoman for Muslims. It's also worth considering, it's also worth considering in the light of what Stephen's saying, there isn't a single world-class university anywhere in the Muslim world. Not one. Why? Because there are structural problems with Islam that prevent this from happening. And, you know, the, you have, you Just have to- Just apply the same standard. You have two, you have two kinds of Muslims in the US. You know, some of you aren't gonna like this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because it's true. Um, you have two kinds of Muslims in the US. You have nice assimilated middle-class Muslims who, let's, let's be honest, aren't the most devout believers. They don't necessarily do namaz, like, namaz. So they, uh, some of them don't pray five times a day. They drink, they smoke, they have sex outside, whatever, you know. Let's just say they're cultural Muslims, but like I might be a cultural Catholic, perhaps, you might say, right? These are not people who pray five times a day. You have these people, and you, you have them here because you don't border any Muslim countries. You, it, you need to take an intercontinental flight to get here, which limits the sort of people who can arrive. So you get nice middle to upper class Muslims from nice families who are westernized and assimilated, and they're your friends. And you think, gosh, these people are saying such terrible things about Muslims, but I know so many nice Muslims, that can't be true. Well, it's because of where you are in the world, right? So you have those nice mi middle and upper class Muslims, and you have terrorists. That's all you Listen, have here. I don't have a problem what with you. What you don't okay? have here, I've... what you don't have here is what Germany has, 1.4 million Syrian refugees, or should I say migrants, who come in, uh, c commit the most appalling crimes and abuses against women, homosexuals, trans people. You've got nothing to say about that, by the way. Um, you, what you don't have is a massive influx of working class Muslim populations. And it will come, and it is coming, and when it does, you will think very differently about this. One final thing, because I do appreciate taking the question, I'd be two phrases, listen. My problem is not, of course, there are plenty of great Muslims out there. Not every Muslim is a terrorist. It's important for people to note that. Muhammad was. And I have a problem with that. If you look and read about Muhammad's life, he killed, he called for the death of Christians and Jews. I have a problem with that. And you know what? That's okay. Just like atheists have a problem with Christianity. At this point, at this point we'll conclude our question and answer section. Uh, one final round of applause for our speakers. Thank you. That's all we have for you tonight. If you would like to stick around,